welcome. I am sitting here with Zach Braff and Kate Hudson. Zach has a movie here called Wish I Were Here. Wish I Was Here. Wish I Was Here. Wish I Was Here. Wish Do you I want another here. take on that? It's okay. <laughs> keep it in. Let's keep it in. It's all good. Actually, uh, you said the grammatically correct version, but we purposely made it to grammatically did, incorrect. To yeah. challenge us dyslexic people. Yeah. Anyway, you were here with uh, Garden State yes. uh, many moons ago. And for this film, we've been hearing about it for a long time because you did Kickstarter, yeah. which is kind of an interesting... Uh, approach uh, and amazing that you raised the money in almost instantaneously. Correct? Forty-eight hours, yeah. Wow, wow. Why, why Kickstarter for this? Um, you know, um, when we brought the script out there, much like Garden State, everyone p passed on the Garden State script, and no one wanted to make it. And uh, in that instance, I ran into this amazing uh, rich sugar daddy who uh, had made a lot of money in the mortgage business and knew nothing about Hollywood, but liked me and liked Natalie and liked the script and said, I'll pay for it. And uh, it was a very rare thing that never happened. In this instance, um, I started going and it was the same thing with Garden State, like people not fully getting it, not really understanding my intention, wanting to make cuts, wanting to change it, wanting to not shoot in Los Angeles, which is more expensive, but Los Angeles is a character in the movie, mm -hmm. dictating who I could cast. Mm -hmm. and. Um, as I was kind of pulling my hair out, going, this is not going to work, the Veronica Mars thing spread across the internet, like, oh, look what they did. And I have such an amazing, loyal fan base online that my producer, uh, Stacey Schur, said, you know, w w why don't we give it a try? I mean, your fans rally behind you no matter what you do. It's, it's worth looking at. And it was a risk, but we thought maybe over the course of a month, uh, we'll get enough people that it could work. And then it happened in 48 hours. All right, you guys shot it. And I have to say, I loved this movie. I loved it. I just came from it. Thank you. It was crazy lines. It was like that Sundance, you know, everyone like scrambling and talking and buyers and distributors and, you know, uh, mucking about. And it uh, it was a great way to start this Saturday. Um, Thank you. And Kate, I was so happy to see you. I always love seeing you, but I really love this part for you. Yeah. How did you... Um, Zach, how'd you come to cast? I mean, selfishly, obviously, who wouldn't want to work with Kate Hudson? But other than that... I love her. I mean, I'm, I, I know her as a person, and I love her as a human, but I, 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 I genuinely a fan of Kate's work. Um, when I, like so many people, when I saw Almost Famous, I, 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 I just thought it was she was a revelation, and I thought, wow, God doesn't do that too much, make someone who looks like that, who can act like that. And, uh, and I really wanted to get back to... Um, you know, she's a wonderful movie star and has done a lot of fun uh, comedies, but I, I saw this raw, real Kate, and I wanted to get back to that with this film. I, I said it. I, I ha it's been a while since I saw her go to the places that she goes to in this movie. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and she's your wife, and you get... I do to get grab her to, I, I do and, get to grab her butt, which, which was which was a cherry on top. <laughs> but no, I just genuinely love her and uh, and knew that she could do it. And then I was just so happy that she said yes. And for you, Kate. For me, when I read the script, I think like what we were talking about earlier, which was I read the script and there was so much of it that spoke to me personally um, about my life and you know Josh was talking about his complicated relationship with his father and I have a complicated relationship with my father I have no relationship with my father and and I think that the story just sort of hit a nerve with me and also being and so close with Zach there's something about the way that him and his brother wrote it that just felt so honest and vulnerable and he just sent it to me as the script is a friend going hey you know I want you to read my script you know and and I just, I, I mean, I'll, I'll never forget when I got on the phone with him and I was like, this is such a beautiful story and it's so important to tell these stories and people don't make these stories very often because like you're saying, a lot of people don't want to put, they don't, they don't know, they don't know where to box them in. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then he said, you know, do you want to, do you want to come do it? And I was like, yeah, you know, and we've been trying to work together for I've some time. I've offered her pretty much everything I've had since Carter's State, <laughs> but it's never lined up and, um. And, and this uh, one did. It's great in, in that you you deal with a uh, family. You two are married. You have kids. You're a, a terrible, like, out-of-work actor constantly, chronically. You work in some kind of 
dead end, seemingly dead end job, but it it really moved me on so many levels, and I love the way you incorporated L.A. and Mandy Patinkin as your dad, and the 405, and Judaism, and public school, private school, and everything. Like kind of it was just like a great mashup. Thank you. But what was for you the obviously you and your brother uh, wrote this. Was it about um, your own family? Is there something that you took from, or because I feel like I will just say this one more time. I feel like having been through uh, a similar thing, uh, losing actually both my parents uh, to cancer, it was so spot on in terms of kind of what happens and how you have to deal with this, you know, end of life. Um, I think it's our, uh, at the heart of it is our, our fear of losing our father. We, uh, we love our father so much and he's 79, thank God, so healthy and, and, and is 79 going on 21. Um, but uh, I think at a certain age, uh, you start to, it starts to register in your brain, like, oh my God, this person that I love so much will not be here forever. And then while you're simultaneously teaching your young children, in this case, he's trying to homeschool them, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's called upon to be like, oh, I have to answer questions about spirituality and death, and I don't even know what I believe yet, you know, because they're young parents. Uh, I mean, they had these kids young. So uh, my brother has two young kids, and, and he pulled from his own experience there. And, and uh, we did grow up in a, in a pretty religious family when we were young. So we, there's lots of it. In the spirit of Garden State, there's lots of it that's taken from our own lives, but then lots of fiction you know, wrapped around it. All right, well, thank, thank you so you much. Thank you so much. It's so great, great guys. I loved it. It was such a good movie.